greetings, salutations, and we start today with a cat. That's all I have to say. We start today with a cat. Happy Halloween, everyone. All Hallows Eve. I forget what the exact... I don't remember the Tessel Elder Scrolls holiday for it. But it is the time to bring out the spook decks. And so we have our two spooky deck. Let me hide the camera so we can actually see the cards we're looking at. Fairly low curve. We've got Deadly Draugr. Deathless Draugr. Dragon Cult Ghost. Prophet of Bones, Skinned Hound, Triple Negation because I'm in Sorcerer, it had to happen, Wake the Dead, Wandering Skeletons, Ancestral Dead, Dark Guardian, Haunting Spirit, Bonewalker, Gloomwraith, aka the Jack-O-Lantern, Two Grave Grasps, Icy Shambles, Skeletal Champion, Vastery being the only non-undead creature here, where theoretically she's a lich but she's not a lich and triple bone colossus this is the deck that i used to or this is the deck if not close to the deck i used to grind out my lich title let's turn our cameras back on can't turn off the cat for too long or everyone will leave all right let's take it to ladder we'll see how it does Honestly, if we can get the Gloomer, it's going. A four-cost creature that as long as we have three skeletons as a 5-5 five, five with breakthrough isn't terrible. And I've had it four-cost 12-12, etc. Not 12-12, 8-8. I was thinking I had two of them. And then I thought 4-8. Yeah, that, that's how math works. I'm okay with this opening hand. Deadly Draugr into Skinned Hound forces some unfortunate trades on our opponent. If he opens with a one-drop, I can oppose Skinned Hound. I say he, she, Lady Clara, the Dragon Seeker. Whereas we have engaged full roleplay mode, our portrait, which is totally picked specifically for this... Our card back, which we totally don't normally run. And our title, that's totally not our normal title. I do not fear. I, I, I wish we could have spooky, scary skeletons and other songs playing at the moment. You'll have to follow us on Twitch for that. My power is not to be underestimated. Trying to be a little bit sneaky here. We'll see if it pays off. It's above Bolt. It's above Channeled Storm. Silence is not well known in that class. Though he could have knife to the throat. Oh, you are actually seeking dragons. Interesting. We don't want to play Gloomwraith until both of these have cycled through to their purple form. I'm going to try to bait out a Clockwork Dragon play here. So I can trade both of these in. Because the token they generate, that 1-1 Skelly Boy, is purple. Uh, that'll work. That is honestly who I wanted it to hit. Because now I can cycle both of those, play Gloomwraith. I was wondering if we were going to hit a Prophecy and debating whether or not I needed to play Dark Guardian first. Alright, we've committed. 
We got a 6 6 for Gloom Wraith still. Worth it for the 4 Magicka. Haven't been a lot of prophecies, but I guess we've seen two prophecies out of five cards. You're going to pick up Drain, so I'm just going to have to negate that. Or would... Yeah, we're still going to negate it. Because then I can Icy Shambles lock that down. We have six ways of drawing our spooky, scary skeleton boys. we got to find... Wake the dead, or just draw them naturally. You've got to have... Yeah, I was going to say, you got to be pinging that off. Hi, Dargan. Ooh, bigger Dargan. Additional Skelly Boys were required. Throws the glacial dragon. That makes me happy. I think it's going to be GG. We have nine cards in our deck that we needed to draw, and we didn't find any of them. Because we've got the AoE buff, Skeletal Champion. We have Skeleton Daddy. And we have Wake the Dead to draw both of them. And Dragon Cult Ghost isn't terrible. There's worse things we could be drawing. The rightful ruler of all Tamriel has arrived. Yeah, it's gonna be GG. Yep. The victory is yours. We're not gonna be able to overcome eight drain. He's got a bolt in hand. Time to move on to the next game. So not too spooky for dragons. We'll give it another go. Get our obligatory mid-break water. Alright, who are we up against this time? Locum. Conqueror of Madness. Daggerfall Covenant, rank 1017. Nope. Just nope that hand. That's a better hand. Great hand it is not, but terrible hand I've seen worse. There he is, alright. Now we've got something to be working toward.
Not really going to be a great Gloom Wraith, but it is a 4 cost, 4-4. Four, four. We might save it till after Bone Colossus. We'll see. Arcane Enchanter. So you're trying that whole shtick. Let's pull... Skeletal Champion. We've got the negation for the first Gardener. Rasilisk. Oh boy. I am happy to see a Brassy Boy getting play. If he uses an item to clear this, we oppose with Vastery. If he doesn't use an item to clear it and he just kills it, we oppose with Vastery. Doesn't really change our play. Which her tokens are all purple, buffing Gloomery. What is her buff here called? Doesn't say. She just gets the power without it being called a buff. I was hoping for something like Dark Power. So he's gonna bump and get a Brassy Boy. I think he should have bumped and then given this charge rally. Personal opinion. Max power Gloom Wraith. Bone Daddy comes out next turn. He could have rolled lethal on an item and that would allow him to easy kill. My assumption is he kind of deals with this lane. Uh, if I have to negate past a guard, I will. I don't think I'd have to negate past a guard, though. Alright, yeah, it's over. He can't answer Gloomwraith. So there we go. Too spooky for items. Recovered most of it. How long have we been going on? 13 minutes? We'll go. We'll do a third. We will get a third game in. Red guards are mighty warriors who love to use their weapons to defeat your foes, but that, that was a high elf. I see you, elf. Rapapov. Jack of Trades. The Moonswear. Moons of Elsewhere Gate. Card back. Keep these. This is good for trading if he's Prophecy BM. This is good for trading if he's Prophecy BM. Prophecy BM loves it when you put guards in their way. Uh, I should note we are not running Miskarkand Lich. We could be. It was a personal choice not to. Alright, so he's not Prophecy BM. So we're going to make the assumption of mid-BM. And just start going. By the fires of oblivion. I wanted that out just in case he hit like a Prophecy Lightning Bolt, just... Finding a way to get some extra card draw. He's also going to need to be able to do something to trade up there. I think the Tome is going to ultimately be too slow for him. I 
Hopefully I pull a 2-drop that we can combo with Wake the Dead next turn. Or something we can play instead of Wake the Dead. Like a Skeletal Champion. Especially a Skeletal Champion. Awesome, you're just bigger now. Cool. Let's clear you off the board. If we see an ice storm, it only it clears two creatures, but it gives us one back. We've got a negation in case he does something silly. Oh, he couldn't have ice stormed last turn. So he's setting up for an ice storm this turn? No. Well, I say this turn. This next turn. I'll have two tokens left over and a Ancestral Dead if, if he Ice Storms. Argument for him not Ice Storming is the fact that he didn't ping this with his Rapid Shot. Because a ping there with Rapid Shot would have set up an Ice Storm, but I still would have did the same play. We're playing for worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, guard is negation followed by champion. But now there's no ice storm. Rude. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just going to negate that out. Yeah, out of here. I don't feel like dealing with you. Um. No, I'd, I'd rather get the token back. Do I want to grab a token here? I don't think so. I think we just... Thank you, thank you. Off to face we go. There's a prophecy. If it's a bolt, is he debating what he bolts? What is the most harmless prophecy it could be? Fear Totem. If it's Fear Totem, I can play most everything. I wouldn't be able to play Skeletal Champion, but he gives me a buff back. He is plotting his way out of this. Has to deal with the entirety of the field lane. Or with two creatures in field and one in, and then deal with our shadow lane. Well, three creatures because... No, no, because he can leave the token this. That's only four. It's a guard. It's a char no, it's a 7-7 seven, seven guard. Um... Do we sack this entire lane? I don't think we do. Well, I think we do, but we play out Icy Shambles first. Oh wait, that's lethal. Tee -hee. My math skills today are lacking. We got him. Silly elf. Skeleton's too spooky. Alright. We advance to under 1100. 
we got a decent reward. Well, no, we got about the minimum reward there. But it's been fun. Guys, have a great Halloween. It's been fun. I'll see you on the ladder.